What is up my friends? Welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about how to clean your moldy shower grout. Now I don't have a demo for you in this video, but I still want to get you the information so that you can go out there and handle your business. You see this right here? This is called a grout brush. It's kind of pointy in the middle. And if you look at it, it's about like this long, right? This wide. And it attaches to a pole right here. See the threads? Right like this. The majority of the time, if you have mold in your grout and your tile shower, all you need is a brush. You just spray that grout with your regular shower cleaner, let it sit for a couple minutes and dwell, and use your grout brushes. This is so you don't have to kill your back. You can stand up and you can scrub, go down the grout lines. You can go in the corners and you can just use this. Here's another grout brush I use. This is a little handheld grout brush. So if you're standing up and you don't have a lot of elbow space, you can't, you know, use your pole. You can just use this. You can go up and down the grout lines with your grout brush. So grout brushes are going to work if the grout is sealed because if the grout is sealed, then all that's going to happen is the soap scum, the mold, the pink stuff is going to sit on top of the grout. It'll be super easy to clean. So you don't need any type of strong chemical. The problem you run into is when the grout is unsealed because if it's unsealed everything seeps down into the grout, that water gets down in there, dwells, and then creates your black mold. If that is the problem you're having, you have black mold down in that grout. As of right now, this is the best cleaner I've found to work. Clorox Mold and Mildew Remover. I buy the gigantic jug because I'm in the cleaning business, so I buy it in bulk and then I just fill up the bottle. So all you do to remove that mold is just spray it with your Tylex, let it sit for 10, 20, 30 minutes and dwell and it's going to kill and eat away at that mold and then you just come through, you can come through, you know, with your grout brushes and then you just rinse away thoroughly. Now the only downside to the Tylex is that the fumes are very, very strong. So when you do use it, you need to have a fan going, a vent, and also I recommend using a respirator. So this is it right here. I will leave these products listed in links down below for you, but it's real simple. Here's your headband. It just goes on your head. So the respirator is very handy if you decide to use this product. Also, before I end the video, I want to talk about caulking. So if you have mold that's built up in caulking, you know, the white caulking or the clear caulking, this method will clean the mold if the, if the mold is on top of the caulking. If you have mold inside the caulking or underneath the caulking, then it's not going to work. You have to rip it out and redo it. There's just no way to get around that. And one other tip I should give you if you want to prevent this from happening in the future, like I said, if your grout is unsealed, then get it clean with the Tylex and then reseal the grout so that stuff doesn't get down inside of it and it'll just stay on top of the grout and it'll be a lot easier to clean and maintain. Also, to prevent mold from forming in your bathroom, make sure when you take your showers, run the vent, run a fan, and also when you're finished with your shower, leave that shower door open so that the moisture can get out of the shower. I know it looks a lot nicer to close the shower door because that's the way it's designed for it to be closed, but that traps moisture and that's what creates that mold. So make sure you leave your shower door open after you finish cleaning your body. With that being said, my friends, thanks so much for checking out the video. That is how to clean moldy shower grout. I'll see you in the next video.